Concurrency in programming is about handling multiple tasks independently. Go makes concurrency easy thanks to its built-in support for two powerful features, Go routines and channels. Let me quickly show you how they work. Say I want to read in a bunch of files, and I've got the names in a slice, plus a function that knows how to process a single file. I could just call process file for the first file, wait for it to finish, call it again for the second, wait some more, and then do the third one. But because file I.O. is synchronous and slow, that's probably not the fastest way to do it. Let's use go to make those three calls concurrently. Process file can either return an error, or if everything goes right, nil. I'll make a channel to collect those results. Think of a channel as a pipe, with one end you can send to, and another you can receive from. Now I'll loop over the files, and use the go statement to start a go routine for each one. You can think of a go routine as a very efficient thread. As each call to process file completes, the returned errors and nils are sent to the channel. I'll end up with one return value for each file, so I can do a little loop here, and print out each error. You might be wondering, with stuff happening concurrently, how do you make sure the print code doesn't try to print a value before the process file call finishes? That's part of what makes channels so useful. When this code tries to receive the value from the channel, it will wait until one arrives, then resume executing. And that's it. For more info on how to use Go routines and channels to simplify asynchronous coding in your own applications, see the links below.